Hey folks, this is Vincent Adeli with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to check out the tabletop game Reef. This game is for 2-4 to four players, it's for ages 8 and up, and the average play time is 30-45 to 45 minutes. We just got this game in the mail today, so this is going to be our first time playing. There may be a rules goof or two, but based on what I read, it's fairly simple. What you're trying to do is you're trying to put these different colored coral reefs onto your player board. Each player gets their own player board. And they're going to be trying to form certain combinations. On a player's turn, what they're going to do is they're going to do one of two things. They can either take one of these four cards that are right here. Um, these are free, these three. So you can just take one of these and then fill it from the deck. Or you can take the one that's on top of the deck, but you have to pay a victory point and put it onto one of these cards. And the card that you put it onto is the one that has the um, lowest victory point uh, value on it. So in this case, there's a 2, there's a 5, and there's a 5. So if I were to take this card, I would take it and then take one of my victory point tokens and put it on this 2. And then on a future turn, if someone takes this card, they not only take the card, but they also get to keep the victory point or any others that might be on it. So that's one of two things you can do. You can take a card. The other thing you can do is play a card from your hand. When you play a card from your hand, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take the top action, which is take the two colors of the reefs that are shown. So if I were to play this card from my hand, say, I would take two yellow, and then I would put them onto my player board in any way I want to. Uh, there is an exception. Uh, you can stack. However, you can only stack them four high. You can't go any higher than that. Okay, so once you're done taking the reefs and putting them onto your player board, you're going to try to score the bottom part of the card. Now, you're not going to be able to score every single card. Uh, you may have to pass on some of these. And that's the strategy behind this game. Which cards do you try and score? Which cards do you play just for the colored reefs that you need? And so on. But the way this scoring system works is you're going to see different symbols on the bottom of these cards. This one simply means it's going to, you're going to need to um, form a pattern so that you have two stacks that are too high and the top one is green. So just as an example to that, let's say that I had... Uh, doesn't matter what color. Doesn't matter what colors are underneath. Just imagine as if you were looking at it from a bird's eye, top-down view. All that matters is the top color. That's all you care about. But you also want to also pay attention to how high the stacks are on some of these cards. So let's say I had something like this on my player board. I've got this is two. Uh, this is too high, too high, and they both have to be green. So I've got too high, too high, and they are both green. And because I did that, I would score five victory points. There's some victory point tokens in the box. You can also score multiple instances of these cards. So let's say I had something like this. And I were to play this card. I would take the two yellow, as I explained before, put them on my player board somewhere. Then I would score this bottom half. Again, I've got these two here and these two here. So I get five victory points for this one and five victory points for this one. You cannot use the same stack twice. So let's say I had something like this. In this case, I would score either this one or this one, but not. I couldn't do both. So if I scored these two and got five points, these are out of the picture now. All that's left is this, that does not fulfill that requirement on the card, and all I score is five victory points, and that's that. So that's just one of the different ways that these cards will score. I'll show you some other examples here in a minute once I put all these away. There we go. So this one simply means that this one, this this card needs uh, two stacks. They have to be diagonal to each other, and they have to be two uh, pieces or higher. So you could have, say, uh, two red and a three yellow. So as long as they're diagonal, something like that. So it says two plus red, two plus yellow is what that means. And it doesn't matter what direction you're looking at it. Like it, 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 to this, if you looked at it, you'd want red to be like this and yellow to be like this. If you were to match the way the card shows it here. But that's not important. You could have this here, you could have this here, you could have this here. It doesn't matter. So as, if you were to like flip the card, you know, whatever way you want to do it. Um, so as long as they're diagonal 
it'll satisfy that and you'll gain the points for it. Uh, let's see, there's some other ones in the deck. Let's see, so that's too high purple. Um, this simply means that you just need a three yellow, just straight across or straight diagonal. There's, let's see, let's find some other ones here. This one's simple, just a red, easy enough. The complicated ones, like this is probably the most complicated one that's in the deck. This simply means that you're going to take your highest stack that is red, and then for every green around it, you score two victory points. And uh, that's diagonally and orthogonally. So up, down, left, right, and then diagonally. So you're going to take, again, your highest red stack, look around it, and for every green that's on top, you get two victory points. So that, that's like probably the most complicated one out of here. All right, so I think we're ready to go. Um, for those of you that want to see the box insert before we get started, some of you actually care what, you know. And I got to say, the components are top notch. Uh, these pieces are nice and thick and heavy. Um, these victory point tokens are pretty thick, as you can see. And the cards, very easily shuffled. They're, the, the card stock is excellent. And here's all the different victory point tokens that are in here. Okay. Um, so at the beginning of the game, each player gets a player board. You get one of each coral color, and the number of reefs that you use depends on the number of people playing the game. In a two-player game, there are 18 of each coral. Um, each player gets one of those, of each color, and there's two ways you can set it up uh, as far as these are concerned. The beginner method is you put them in the center like that, any which way you want. The alternate variant to that is you have to pick spaces that are not your four middle ones. You can even stack them if you want to. But we're just going to play the standard beginner variant this time. So, um, what I would recommend before you do that, take yeah. a look at your cards and see <laughs> how you might want to position these. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, if they're three or two high, it may not matter. Uh, in other instances, you know, it may be... So I might do something... In this case, in my case, it really doesn't matter based on what I have. Okay, and here's a look at the rule book. It's very short. It's about four pages long. Um, yeah, the pages are a little big, but it's it's not that big of a deal, honestly. Okay, so um, let's just do now. The player with the starfish mm -hmm. on the player board is the person that goes first. Okay. And the end of the game comes around when one of these stacks are depleted. Uh, or, or pools of coral are depleted, or when the deck runs out, but this will probably happen first. After that, um, the round ends, meaning that um, if, if you were to deplete one of these, I would still get a final turn because you went first. If I had depleted one of these, then the game would be over okay. because you're a first player. And basically, everyone needs an equal number of turns is what it comes out to be. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, um, so you get to go first. So you get to do one of two things. You get to take a card. Or you can play a card, whatever way you want to work it. I'll take a card. You're going to take a card. Go for it. I shall take this one. You're going to take that one. Okay, so... How many cards can you hold? Um, I think the hand limit is... Good question. That's one thing I didn't look at. Um, mm, I, I could have sworn the hand limit was something like four, but I want to make sure that's correct before I tell you that. Okay. Um, mm, mm, take a card. And I'll let the... Folks at home, take a look at the manual while, while I'm looking at this. They're not looking at dead space. Um, mm -mm. You have a hand limit of four cards. If you already have a four cards in your hand, you cannot take another card. So then what? You just play one of them. Once you have four cards in your hand, your hand you can't take what if a card. you can't play any? You have to. Well, no, you, you can. You can always play a card. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So you don't have to take one. Oh. Well, what, what do you mean by that? You, 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 when, let's say I oh. had, let's say I had four cards in my hand. Okay. I could not take this action anymore. Instead, I have to play a card from my hand, in which case I would take two of these, put them on my board, and then possibly score. Okay. Yeah. And then you would discard that card. Okay. But, okay. So you took a card. Okay. Yeah. I took a card. All right. So. And then I have to pick up the tokens that came with that card? Or no? No, no. That's only, that's only when you play a card. That's only when you play a card. All, all you do, whenever you take a card from here, okay. all you do is you put it into your hand. 
Okay. That's it. When you play a card. When you play a card. It doesn't mean scoring this. It just means taking the tokens that are in the card. Both. It take When you play a card, you do both. But what if you can't score? It doesn't matter. You skip oh, it. Oh, I get it now. I get it. Yeah. So you only perform the action on the cards when you play them. I see. I see. But if you're taking a card, you just take the card. That's it. You're done. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Sorry. No, no. I, maybe I didn't explain it. You're fine. I've, I've been known to not explain no, things well. Fine. Okay, so now it's my turn. So I'll go ahead and just... Um, Alright. I will... See, based on what I need, if I were to score either of these, I would need these particular colors. So I may want to take this one. And that goes there. Because I may want to play that so that I can get these, and then that would set myself up for one of these, or something. Okay. I will take this one. Okay. Now on your next turn, you have I to have play to something. Play. Yep. Okay, so what I'm going to do, instead, I'm going to play this card. It goes into a discard pile next to you. And I have to take two green, put it onto my board, and let's see how I might want to do that. Um... All I really care about is... Can you hold um, those reefs? No, you cannot. Oh. You have to play them whenever you get them. Okay. So that's one, and I'll do one here. Okay. All right, I think we're good. Okay, and then can I score this one, which... I, I played my two. Can I score this two high purple? The answer is no. I don't have a two high purple on top. Are there any cards that have different numbers next to them? Um, I'm not sure. I didn't look through the deck, honestly. Oh, okay. Just wondering. Some might say two plus, but okay. in which case, yeah, the, you can have different, but mm -hmm. all right. All yours. All right. I shall play... Um... A strategy type of game, huh? Yeah, you got to figure out what cards you want to like. Do you want to? Is there a particular card that you really want to score because it has a lot of points? Yeah. But you may need the colors on top for some some other scoring card that you're trying to score. Yeah. I'm going to play this. One okay, and so score it. just put it in your discard pile. Okay, so you get to take a green and a red. I and you get to put mm -hmm. green and the red. I will put the green here. Uh huh. And I will put this orange. Orange red. I can't tell what color that is. Or yeah. It, I mean, it, it might be orange. Um. Oh man, it's tough. <laughs> no, no, take your time. What a game. What a game. It just started and you're already saying that. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, so you can't score the bottom half because no. you need three purples in a row. Yeah. Okay, so that's not going to happen. So now again, I get to choose. Do I want to take a card? Do I want to play one? Um, I'm going to go ahead and play this one for two red. And uh, this one just needs a green. Um, but it has to be on the, the very first one here. Oh, really? Yeah, like the ones without a number on it are just like the bottom. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So if there's something on top of it, do you still get that point? No. Once something's on top of it, you don't. Again, you're only looking at it from a top-down view. That's all you're looking at. It. So if you have three... If, so this means to score on the first... Correct. I would need yellow, yellow, yellow on the first row. Like on not the, on the bottom row, but on the on the top. Is that what what, I, what I mean is, what I mean is, um, I can't do it on my player board, but this is what that means. Yellow, 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 yellow. They are on. They're the first so ones. So even if you have this, that is not acceptable. Oh really? Yeah. So these mean the very very first one. Yes. I see. I see. One high, basically. I see. Okay. So I get to take two red for playing that card. And well, I don't really care where it goes. Um, put one there and put one over here, sure. And then can I score this? I can. It's just basically a one high green 
So um, I only have one instance of that, so I get one victory point. Okay. So I'm just going to take a one from the box. Nice. All right, and it's all you. Alright, so I guess I'm going to, um, I'm going to get rid of this one. Okay, so that's two red that you get to place, mm -hmm. and it doesn't look like you can actually score that bottom half, which is four yellow and a square. No. Um, can I do this? Yes. Does that mean this? Yes, it does. Three high red. If it was like... If that could have been yellow, purple, red, it doesn't matter. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Again, you're looking at it from top down. Yeah. So as long as the top one is red, that's all that matters. As long as it's three high and the top one is red. Can you do that? Yep. That's crazy. Yep. Okay, now I can see what you're doing and I may want to take that one for myself. You know, I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> uh -huh. um, question is... See, none of the, I don't need any of these. Uh, there she goes. All right, I'm going to take that one because I know you're going to do that. And I'm going to put that. So now it's your turn. I'm so stupid. I wanted this card, so I actually set it up so that you would take that. So I can have this one, thinking that these are the victory points. That's why I put a green, a red, a green. Oh, <laughs> I, I see. No, no. Get to good. That was smart. Just wrong, <laughs> wrong, wrong, wrong opposite. Yeah, thing. you're looking at the wrong part of the card. Oh I see my what you're gosh, saying. that is so dumb. No, you're fine. Yeah, the, the top half is what you take from the supply. The bottom half yeah. is the is the pattern that you need to score the victory point. So dumb. All right, all right. See, kids, this is why you should not play when you're sick. <laughs> this is this is this is why we play games and make a note on the beginning saying this is our first time playing we don't know what we're doing so go oh, easy on us and don't call us stupid it's tough. okay all right i got this mm -hmm. sure <laughs> <laughs> God, i can't move it to <laughs> oh man i was like yes i'm gonna You're do like, this yeah that'll teach him yeah this is really he thinks hard he's so thing. smart all right um Okay. Oh, not what I need. It's ridiculous is what it is. <laughs> um, I'm going to take that one. So everyone starts off with victory points? Three. Oh, Just so that you have the option to buy something from here if you see one. I see. Ugh. So silly. All right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um... No worries. Hmm. I think I'm actually going to... Yeah, okay. I'm going to discard this one so I can get two yellow. Two yellow, okay. And you need a pattern of two high, two green, just to show the camera. This is what she needed to score five points, but she doesn't have that pattern. Mm -mm. All right, I will... I'm going to play this one for the two red, nice. and I'm going to place that right there, and I cannot score this one because I need three yellow, one high, and I can't do that. I uh, took that one. I am going to take this one. I'm going to play this one so I can get the orange and the yellow. Okay. I will place them. Hmm. Use them here and here. Is that good? 
That's good. Can I do that? Yeah, you could do that. <laughs> and you can't score the bottom half because you need three green, one high. Um, okay, so I want C. Okay, so that's not going to work for me because even though I've got the pattern, it's the wrong height. Based on that, it's the wrong height. That's too high, too high, one high. They're not the correct. So I want to play this to get my purple. And I'm going to put one I'm going to do this here and here. Okay. How many cards can you play, by the way? One. Just one per mm -hmm. turn. Okay, see. My turn? Yep. Sorry. You're fine. Um, Sorry, I'm thinking. No, no, I'm thinking too. Mm -hmm. You're fine. I'm gonna grab this one. Okay. Hmm. See now, do I save this or do I play it? I mean, I think I'd have to play it now based on my current setup because, again, you can only use each one stack once. So I'm going to go ahead and play this because none of these are really appealing to me right now. So I'm going to play this for two yellow. And the question is, where am I putting them? Um, I'm going to put one here and I'm going to put one maybe over here, sure. Now the scoring on this is... A diagonal of a green too high and a purple too high. Nice. I've got purple too high, green too high here, and I've got here as well. So I've got, these are just diagonal to each other. So it's five points per, so I get ten points for that. So I'm going to take ten from the box. Nice. I will take. Does I'm sorry, real quick. Mm -hmm. Does this mean it's only it only has to be in the base? I'm um, like do, you mean? do these greens. The greens have to be on top. Okay, not on the bottom. Correct. But not on the first. Slide. Basically, this means you take your highest purple stack, mm -hmm. and then for every green around it that's on top, you get okay. two points for. Oh, okay, because when you say, like, remember in the first stack, you said these were only, like... One high, yeah. One high? But nothing can be on top of them. So what's the difference between the ones that look like this and look like that? Hold on. I'm sorry. No, 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 it's a good question. Um, maybe I got... Hold on, let me make sure I didn't get it wrong. Um, <laughs> no, I think you are right, actually. Hold on. This means that it is always... Okay, no, you're right. I'm sorry. I did that wrong. Those mean that it can be um, on, top? on top, as long as it's on top. Oh, okay. So those could have been... So um, um, let me look back through your cards and see if there's anything that you no, could have scored. No, I It doesn't look like it. it. Anyways, I was just curious. Yeah, me too. Okay, um, I don't think I could have... Actually, that would have... I'm not going to worry about it, but... Score it. No, I'm good. I, that was my mess up. I, so basically what we just discovered, again, this is our first time playing, but these that have no number on them, just if, as long as they're on top, it doesn't matter what height they are. Okay. And these with the number on them are just required. That's required. Okay. Correct. Required height. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. My bad. That's okay. My bad. Okay. All right. And it's still your turn. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Yep. So I will take this one. Mm -hmm. My turn? Yep. All right. I'm going to play a card. I'm going to play. Ooh. Um, I'm going to play. <laughs> no, take your time. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Go. Oh man. Go. 
coming. Corey's <laughs> <laughs> playing. What am I gonna play? All right. Um. I don't know. What are you gonna play? I'll play something. I'm gonna play this one. Okay, so it's two. Okay, so you take two purple and you play it. Okay. And then you get five points per yellow and orange stack that are too high diagonal. So just to show the camera what that looks like, it's similar to mine. So yellow too high, red too high. Um, so you've got red too high, yellow too high. And this is, uh, now it says two plus, so that's fine. So you've got 10 points here, okay. right? Yeah. So you can take a 10 and look at you. Look at you go. You got it. <laughs> you got it. You're good. Um, I am going to um, actually hmm. I'm going to take this one. Because I might be able to do something with this and this. Maybe. I'm going to play this one. Okay, so two yellow. You can take two yellow and then place it. And then it says to take your highest red stack and then you get two victory points or a purple one that is around it in any direction. Yeah. Um. Which you'll get four points for. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I know which one you're scoring. You're gonna. This is your highest red stack. You've got a purple here, purple here, and no other purples. Yeah. So, and I doubt you're gonna cover up those purples because that would yeah. jip you out of points. Yeah. I'm going to play. Um, this. Good job. Wait, hold on. Do I? No. No. <laughs> take your time. Four high is your limit, though, on some, you know, on those stacks. So. Yeah. So the ones with no plus is the exact. It has to be the exact. Home. Correct. If there's no, t if there's no plus on the number, then it's it has exact. to be exact. If it says two plus two or higher. Okay. Understand. Okay. My turn. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to play this one. Um, it's two yellow and a three high red. So I'm going to take two yellow, uh, put one there and one there, and I get to score a three high red for four points. So yes. I'll take four out of the box. Uh, three and one. It's a tight game. Yeah, I'll take this one. Okay. Your turn. I'm nervous. Mm-hmm. All right, so with this one, I could, but do I want to wait on that? Maybe. This one, see, I could do this one now, and then do this one next. Um, that one's not going to do anything for me. That one is not going to do anything for me at this point. All right, I'm going to play this, this one to get two greens. And I'm going to put one here and one here and now I score my yellow that is three high and again I only have the one so this is three high the yellow one is on top so I get um, that's four victory points Thanks. for that so I will take another one and a three Hmm, I might want to save that. This is really tough. Because if I get one of these, I can do that and that. And Now, whenever you have a tie for your highest stack on something like this, you get to choose the one that you want. Just FYI. Oh, man, this
this? Taking the purple. Okay. I will go for... I'll just take... Which one would you score? I'm going to take that one. Now I have to play right. Uh, you got four cards? Yeah. All right, so you get you have to take two purple, mm -hmm. and then you score a victory point for each yellow on top. In that case, it looks like there's three. This one has, yeah, so there's just yellow on top. So you would get a victory point for that one, that one, that one. So you would take three victory points. Just There should be a three in there somewhere. Yeah. Oh. Whatever you want, I don't care. Yeah. Easier to count. All right. Um, my turn? Mm-hmm. I'm going to change this for 10, actually. Go for it. I'm going to play this one. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to play this one to get two green. Put one here and put one here. And um, can I score that bottom red and purple together? No, I don't have anything like that. So it's your turn. What am I going to do with that? Mm -hmm. Well, I could do that and then that. It's tough because, like, my strategy keeps changing. Yeah, mine too. Like, I want to score this card, but then next turn, I'm like, no, no, no. I'll, I'll play this one for the, the coral, and then I'll, I'll score this one instead. <laughs> Bugger. Okay, so... <laughs> hmm. That's actually kind of nice. Um, you know, I'm going to play this one. Or, no, I'm going to take this one. Mm -hmm. I wanted that. I'm going to play this one. Okay. So, okay. So yellow and purple. And I'm not going to be able to score that. Okay. Um, which is three red straight across, which is what I was going to go for. But that's okay. <laughs> I may change my strategy now with this one. Um, where would I put this to, to score that? I might put them on top. Well, no, because I can't put them on top. Because then that would cover up. Okay, so how would I do that? Too high, too high. Yeah, see, I, I, that wouldn't matter. Okay, so why don't I just... Okay, so I'll play this one, which is two red, and then I have to score for... I'm going to choose my highest purple stack. In this case, there's a tie. There's two of them. And then I would, there's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So there's uh, six of them. Yeah, and six times two is twelve. So I would get twelve points, but let me put my reds down first. I'm going to do uh, just one, two. It's fine. And that goes here, and then I take twelve out of the box. And then as far as change goes, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. How's this game? <laughs> mm hmm? This game's tough. My turn? Mm hmm. Okay, Absolutely. Grab this one. Okay. Okay, well, do I want to score? I could. Um, what I could do with this. How would I get the most out of that based on what I've got? Okay. Um, I'll play this, or do I want to wait? Because if I can get. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually going to wait on this one. I'm going just to take, I think. First of all, what would you use? I'm going to go ahead and take this one. Because I see that you've got that pattern. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play this one. Ooh, two red. And three high purple. You got four points out of that, based on what you got. Okay. And you're... Four points? Yeah, because your three high is there. Cool. Okay. 
Nice job. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that one kind of useless. I could play this one for. Uh, okay, play this one. Not for the points on the bottom, but just for the two green. I'm going to put one here, and I'm going to put one, those two. Here. Okay. I'm going to just play this one and grab a green and an orange. Okay. Well, it's getting pretty tight. Red's almost out. You got a lot of reds and yellows going on there. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see ya. Oh, at the end of the game, I didn't say this earlier, but at the end of the game, and she knows this already, um, during the final round, or when the game ends, rather, you can still play the cards that are in your hand to get rid of them, but you can only score the you you only score the bot you you don't take the coral and place them you simply just score the bottom but you can only do it one time so if you have multiple instances of this then you okay yeah this was supposed to oh no you're fine <laughs> All right, you're fine but yeah so at the end of the game when everyone's done players play their cards whatever they've got remaining in their hand but they can only do the bottom half of the cards and they can only score it one time as opposed to multiple times. Okay, um, yikes. If I were you, which one would I pick up? I don't have all of these, none. Um, I'm going to take that one. I'm going to play this one. Oof. Two yellow. Look at that. Nice job. So you take two yellow, place it, and then you get uh, four points for... Th Actually, you got two of them, so you get eight points. Good job. Okay, thank you. Six, you made out like a bandit there. <laughs> All right. I need to start scoring or else this game's going to... I mean, this game's looking to end pretty soon. So I need to get stuff down. So I'm going to go ahead and play... Um, let's see, if I put, I have to do three, see, that's a problem. All right, I need to get rid of this. Okay, so I'm going to do this one, which is green and yellow. So I'm going to do yellow here, and actually I'll do... it matters but I'll do that and that okay and now as far as scoring is concerned I score two points for every instance of two matches two height that I've got so two wilds so two wild two wild two wild two wild two wild so that's one two three four five and five times two is ten that's a good one I was saving that one for a while to try and get more instances of two highs. Thank you. Might as well just give you my own test. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. That was good. I will score this one. Okay, so you get two red. Mm -hmm. And so you get uh, two high, two yellow. So you get ten points for that. Thank you. Nice job. So where are you going to put your... I'm thinking. I have yeah. no idea. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Um. Now, technically, folks, she's not going to take the victory points until she plays, but I know she's not going to cover her yellows. Oh, sorry. Because if she does cover her yellows, then she would get less points for yeah. scoring this. Because this happens before this. But for you roll nuts out there, we are well aware. We just know that we're, she's not going to do that. Yeah. At least I'll try not to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, whatever. That's word of the day. Whatever. 
Um, at this point, I just need to score as much as possible. Um, how am I going to do this? I guess I'll take that one. Okay. All you. You have no cards? Mm -mm. Mm. Let's see. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play this one. I'll see that, that actually messes with me a little bit because I need to put two green down. But to get this, right, I'll do this instead. I'll do a green here and a green here. And now I score this, which is just one instance of it, yellow and purple together, which is just here. And that's three points, so nothing, nothing too big there. Nothing too big. I'm going to trade these tens in for two twenties. Make it easier. Sorry. No, no, take your time. You're fine. I'll score this one. Okay. And that's two purple mm -hmm. and three red, so you've got Just one instance of it. Okay, so you get four points. Three. And for those of you at home that want to see it, four. that's what she did. Three red and uh, diagonal. And remember, she can't reuse stacks. You can only use a stack one time for scoring. Mm -hmm. Alright, so you're going to put your purples down somewhere. Got to figure out where. Yeah. Um, <sighs> what am I going to do? What am I going to do? See, I can score that, but I don't want to do it now. I'd rather, at the end of the game, because I can only do it one time anyway. So I'd rather get as many points out of this as I can. That's not going to score me anything. That may, that'll score like two points. This is four high. It's not going to do much. I mean, I might as well take what I can score. Sorry, I'm still no, no, take your time. Well, here's the thing. She could easily make out like a bandit with the one that I'm thinking of. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pay one, put it on the cheapest card, which is this two, and take this one. Because this score down here, two red, two blue, she's... She's got a lot of that going on. Two plus, she could she could get a lot of points out of that. So I'm going to take it. <laughs> She's not getting it. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Even though I can't use it really. Um, no, that's funny. Well, I might be able to if I, actually, I could use it in conjunction with this. But I need to do it before the game ends, which could happen. Play this one, then play this one. Take this one. Okay. So, yeah, this is probably going to be it then, soon. All right, so I'm going to do, um, make sure I get this in the right order. I'm going to do this one, the one I just picked up from here for the two greens. I can't score any of those, but neither can you. Um, I'm going to do green there and um, does it really matter at this point? I'll just do, see that's that, and that, and then I'll just put it there, it's fine. Yes. Okay, and I don't score any points for that. Nice job, two purple. Two purple, and then a yellow and a red. You've got a lot of those. <laughs> so you've got, well, I'll let you put them down first, but in my head I'm calculating. Mm -hmm. You've got one instance, two instances, three. Okay, so you got three instances of that. Yeah. You've got this, you've got this, and you've got this. So that would score nine. nine. Very good. Thank you. Look at you. You're actually, I think you're beating me. No. You are beating me. No, I think we're tied. No, I think you're beating me, young lady. No. Yeah. Never. Uh-huh. Okay. 
20. Yeah. Look at all those threes you have compared <laughs> to me. All right, I'm going to play this one while you're counting out your victory there. Uh, two yellow, and I'm just going to play that based on what I'm seeing here. Um, actually. Eh, eh. And I get four points for every instance I have with three green diagonal. Nice. Three here, three here. I, I could have put one here at some point, but oh well. Mm -hmm. So I get eight points for that. So I'll just, actually, I'll put back two, and I'll take a ten. Okay. You're still, you're winning by one point. One point. You got, you got this. Nah. All you. Your turn. Um, Good job. Sorry, I'm thinking. No, take your time. <laughs> <laughs> She's over there peering at my board like, hmm. <laughs> That's gonna hurt. You've got the momentum on this. Mm -mm. One little mistake. <laughs> but see, you've got... You've got a lot there going, too. I see what you're doing. Okay. Yep. I thought <laughs> I... All right. Well, lucky me, I don't have to pay for this now. Yeah. But that's, this is my only hope now, so I'm going to take this. You're going to... Well, you're, you may play that now. It's funny. These two cards, I think, cancel each other out. Well, see, I'm sure they will. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to play this. All right, so you get a yellow and a red. Yellow and red. And you depleted it. Now, there's one more turn that gets yeah. to happen. And I um, get 10 points for this? Uh, yes. Uh, you get, yes, because you, it's four high. Yeah, four high, four high, 10 points. Yep. Very good. And I get to place these? Yep. Now, with me, even though it needs a yellow, I can't pick the yellow. So I just have to make, make do with what I have. So I'm just going to have to put this down, say, here, and score two points for every three high that is on my thing. Mm -hmm. So I've got three high, three high, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six times two is twelve. Oh, okay. okay. So you got two points um, higher than this one. Good job. Yeah, barely, but it, I don't know if it's going to matter. I don't think it will. It doesn't matter. But that ends the game. Do we have any more cards that we can play? I don't. Yeah. Let's All do right. four more rounds. That's fun. Four more <laughs> rounds. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So, who won then? Um, well. I think you, I think you won. By one, by one point, point, maybe? Yeah. I, there's, um, this is 60, <laughs> 60, 63, 66. Yeah, you won by one. Wow. I should have grabbed that one. That card, like, killed me. That was... <laughs> that was so what did you think? And granted, I, I... Had I scored correctly earlier in the game, I would have won by a little bit more. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because I was treating that as a one high. Mm -hmm. the, one, the one card that I had back here was... Um, this one. Oh. And I had it here, here, and here before yeah. I put the purple down. Oh. Um, so I could have scored four for the, but again, again I did, I missed it then. But still, that was a very close game. What did you think was? It was hard. There's a lot of strategy going into mm -hmm. it. I thought it was just gonna be like easy pickings, <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't. It was really difficult. Would you play it again? Oh yeah, that was fun. You liked it. Yeah. This this to me is like I think this is probably my favorite kind of game in the sense that turns are so easy to play, mm -hmm. but it has a depth to it that makes you think about it. Yeah. I like games that are easy to play but still make you think. Mm -hmm. And that, that's, that's like my perfect game. I like games that I don't have to sit here for 15 hours going through the rule book. Okay, during phase 7, <laughs> step D, section 25, I put a cube here. No, no. Turns are very simple. 
everything is laid out elegantly and it turns are very simple but again it's like with the cards that you have in your hand you're, you're thinking okay am I going to score this one am I going to hold on to it and try and build off of that like I can get two points now or I can try and make more instances of that pattern and maybe score big on it but then I'd have to give up this card, this card, and this card because um, I'm saving up for this one. So it's yeah, like... There's a lot of sacrificing in it. Yeah, exactly. That's thank you. That's the word I was looking for, <laughs> sacrifice. There's a lot of sacrifice in this mm -hmm. um, and a lot of mind changing. Like, <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I really like that. And the components are excellent. Yeah. Top notch. It's like splendor level. So cute. Splendor level components, which is uh, saying a lot. Yeah. All right, so that was Reef, ladies and gentlemen. Again, uh, two to four players, eight and up, and the average play time, 30 to 45 minutes. If I remember, I'll put a link in the below description. Uh, if you buy the board game, or anything for that matter, through that link I provide, I'll get a small cutback at no cost to you. That'll help support my channel should you do that. All right, this is Vince and Ida Lee. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time. Take care. Bye, guys.